Well, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your friendly neighborhood DJ of Cheese, CJ here. And we're back with another Ark Survival Evolved episode. And today we're taking a look at what's new in Patch 503. So you can see here, new dinos have finally been added for the PlayStation. And we've got one on our shoulder. Now, this little guy, he's a nightmare apparently. He's called the Pegomastix. And this guy is a pickpocketer. So what he does is he goes up to other players and pickpockets them. And you can see here we've got a regular pickpocketing. He's currently set to fast pickpocketing. But as well as that, you can also turn off pickpocketing so he doesn't pickpocket other players. Now, at the moment, we don't have anyone else with us to show you this, but we will in a later one. So keep an eye out for that video. Alrighty, moving on to the next dinosaur, the Trudon. Now, this guy looks terrifying. He looks like a baby Megalosaurus, except minus the arm feather wings. Look at his eyes. They're just glowing in the dark. They're piercing through your soul. I definitely want to want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Alrighty, so what this guy does is he scouts. So you can see here he had a scout button. See he scout range, blah blah blah, whatever it says, retard time. And what you can do is you can actually scout for players and teams, players, traps, as well as wild creatures. This guy is going to be revolutionary for PvP. Now he's going to be crazy. So you can also consume his level ups to improve the uh, the scouting abilities that he has. So instead of giving him stats in this, you can improve his scouting level, which is really useful. So at the moment, like I said, we don't have any other players right now, but we will be just showcasing this guy in a later video. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Alrighty. Now the real MVP, the Theranosaurus. Don't hate me if I said that wrong. So this guy, look at these talons, like... Mmm, damn, I do not feel safe in between these. Look at the size of them. I feel like he could just guillotine my head off anytime he felt like it. Like, just look at that. My pike has nothing on these claws. So this guy here is a herbivore. And if you don't have one of these already, get one. He's going to be the new harvester. Now, this guy harvests fiber, berries, as well as wood. So you can see here, if you come up to bear bushes, he has a first attack which is to gather berries, a biting attack. You can see here we're gathering berries. berries. He also has a left trigger attack, which he gathers fiber with, which is amazing considering he has such huge claws. And his third attack is a wood gathering ability. Now, he obviously doesn't have much weight at the moment, so he can't, oh great, we stew stuffed up. Alrighty, so he doesn't have much movement weight at the moment, so he is going to be overburdened quite a bit. But um, yeah, this guy is definitely a new herbivore that you need to tame. He'll overtake any of the trikes that have been out, as well as the stegosauruses, mammoths, anything. And he is also a lot more mobile than all the other dinosaurs. We will be looking at this guy in a more in-depth video, as well as taming one in our single-player playthrough. We will also be doing a max speed for this guy, so be sure to check that guys that out as well, guys. Alrighty, the next big baddie of the patch, the Tessithalosaurus. Sorry, Tessuthesis. This guy is a giant squid. Look at the size of him. He is ginormous. Look at his eyeball. His eyeball is bigger than us. Look at that. Well, almost as big as us. About half of our body size, which is incredible. This guy is a nightmare. I wouldn't want to face one of these and see. So what do we do? We poke it with a pike. See if it gets angry. Now, as well as adding... Oh my god, look at those sharp spikes. As well as adding new dinosaurs, it is, they have also increased the, not increased, uh, made the quality better in the ocean. So as you know before, the ocean was quite an empty place, but they have now added two new caves as well as a bunch of underwater content. We will be taking a look at that as well later on, but first we are going to admire this giant squid. And so we're on him now, and he also has three attacks like the Therinosaurus. As you can see here, we're swimming along with him. He's, he's rather peaceful to swim with. He's got quite a movement animation. Alrighty, so this guy's first attack is actually, he spins around for you first as well, which is quite generous of him. He does a little swipe thing with his with his tentacles. You can see they he's swiping with him. We'll jump in the front here to take a better look. Swipe, swipe, swipe. He also has a secondary attack where he well, spins around first. So you can see here this is going to be a bit of a problem with his turning radius. So you can see here he does a next attack, which is he pretty much attacks with his beak and tries and swallows them whole. Not scary whatsoever. Alrighty, and his third attack, by far my favorite, is the oil slick. So this guy produces an oil slick here, I'll show you in a second, where you actually increase your movement speed while trying to escape. So you can see here, he just pumps out the oil of him, 
and you got to swim away as fast as you can. It actually boosts his movement speed slightly. As well as this, you get a bit of oil out of it. Alrighty, so they're the new dinosaurs that have been added to the patch. As well as these ones, there is also a Nidaria, which is a toxic, toxic jellyfish, which paralyzes you while you're in the ocean. I haven't got one of these spawned in at the moment because I could not tame them. Um, but I will show them later in a later video. And pretty much they allow you to harvest a new material, which you use to make new items, obviously. Um, so all of this, plus various bug fixes and all that sort of stuff, optimization, blue screen that players have been getting have been fixed. And procedurally generated arcs have also been added. However, they are currently not working, as far as I know, from myself and people testing them out. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. So well, welcome to patch 503. I'm definitely excited for it. Worth the wait. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.